Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. And guys, in this video today we are going to learn about how write facts works. Okay. So basically it is a structure. It is a combination of multiple technology just like our body. Okay. We have hands, legs, head kind of thing. So it is also having lots of things and those things are known as components. So they together work and they uh, together perform lots of, you know, services and make things possible to communicate multiple applications, multiple things together. That is the main function here. I mean, uh, that is the main concept. So, you know, to make right, uh, right facts uh, work, they have to communicate with each other. They have to uh, be configured properly and uh, should be connected with each other. Then only they can communicate. So here, uh, if you want to understand how right fact works so you should go through one by one everything here like what is what is fax image what is the role of fax image files what is database what is right fax services what is uh, fax client programs then only you will understand how they are connected to each other what is the functionality why it is required that is that is what uh, the, the the concept of this video Okay, so guys, in this video today, we will learn about two things only. One is fax image files and the next one is fax database that is SQL. I hope this video is gonna be, uh, you know, helpful or informative because even you will spend some time. So uh, your time should not be wasted. You should get something definitely. That is my try and hard work here. That is what my, uh, you know, intention to deliver something because time is everything. You are spending time. You should get something. So guys here. Again, there are four uh, basic component include included or includes here. Uh, the first one is uh, fax image files and the next one is fax database and the next one is uh, fax services and the next one is fax client program. So you when you can see here like uh, one minute uh, before you can see here the uh, headlines like before configuring right fax for your particular network installation you should understand the function of each component okay <coughs> sorry then only you can have a successful implementation of your right facts inside your network or uh, production so here we will learn about uh, fax image file first of all what does it mean or why it is required kind of thing okay why you should know about it so guys very simple here you should note down like by default, you should focus here. By default, all sent and received facts are stored as compressed graphic image file. Okay. So by default, I'm talking about there is no configuration specific configuration. It is a by default uh, um, configuration if we are installing server. So whatever we are sending and receiving that will be stored in a compressed graphic image file. And that will be going to uh, there will be a folder called uh, image okay inside your right facts wherever you will install it so it will go to uh, c drive it, it, it will be installing here so it will create here it will create right facts okay and the, inside that image folder and those images will be without encryption those images will not be encrypted you should understand you should make note it is by default that is the functionality of right facts server so to encrypt why do we use encryption to make it more secure if you want to make it more secure if you want to make it encrypted then you will have to purchase a license as you can see here it is mentioned like with appropriate licensing licensing the right fax server can be configured to encrypt the image files okay so if you want to encrypt these unencrypted files you will have to purchase license and store them in a SQL instead of folder image folder or uh, this image folder or both so here by default it is going to uh, image folder but if you want to keep it to separate location uh, in SQL server then license is required in that condition even you can keep it to your uh, uh, image folder or if you are using SQL then you can, you will have two, two options to keep those uh, image image files Okay, I hope this is very clear. There should not be any confusion, any doubt. Both the points should be very clear. Now, guys, you know, now you have purchased the license and you have encrypted those image files. So if you want to view those files, then you will have to use RightFax applications. Okay, this should be particular RightFax application. Then only you can view these 
encrypted files so if they are not encrypted they are, uh, th th if th those files are not encrypted you can view them but if they are encrypted then you need that specific right facts application to view very simple very simple all three points here now we'll move little little further okay so guys here you know uh, if the server is set to encrypt the image directory for example you have enabled encryption okay to encrypt that directory the rpc server module will apply so this rpc uh, server module will apply 256 bit ae as encryption to to the image file that uh, the, uh, as they are saved so if you have this folder okay and you have enabled encryption here on this this one so whatever data you have whatever file you have this 256 uh, with aes encryption will be applied to this folder or all the files here and even you can see even if you have encrypted file those will become encrypted okay and if you have some files which are less secured al algorithm encrypted okay for example you have four files here and those are encrypted but <coughs> but uh, that algorithm is not more secure so in that condition also this 256 bit aes encryption will take place and that will be removed that is uh, already applied there so that is the concept of encryption here and how you can secure your images or facts very simple guys there should not be any confusion and uh, now up to this i am very confident that uh, everything is very clear what is encryption how you can encrypt how you can enable encryption and what is the role of it <coughs> now we will see here names so what it is actually here uh, by name what does it mean names so guys for example everything has a certain name even i have a name you have a name everything is known by their name okay that is a uh, that is something to recognize what it is actually so here all here here as well the same thing apply so what will happen here you know <coughs> i hope it is very clear whatever facts we are sending and receiving they will be stored as an image file okay and they will have a name and that will be assigned by right facts server the first thing is very simple and uh, right facts server and these file names are referenced by the right facts sql database and that if you are using a, a, a database then that will be a student database okay sql database so if this is your uh, right facts server and this is your sql so at both place that will be reflecting for example you created one two three so it will be reflecting one two three or a particular facts at both the location and now guys each individual page of a fax is saved as a separate file so every fax will be a separate file now all files associated with single fax okay all files associated with associated with a single fax will have the same file name but different file extensions will indicate the page number this is one one thing here uh, very uh, little bit I mean little bit uh, different uh, and that extension will be like you know it will be numeric starting with 301 you can see here indicating the first page so part first page will be your 301 and the rest of will be two three kind of okay the file extension increase increment by one for each subsequent page of the fax so if you have multiple page in a single fax so that that is what here uh, it is mentioned <coughs> <coughs> now i will move to the next one and here one thing you need to be very careful if you rename the file uh, right fax image file they will not be recognized by the right fax server so you should not change any name you should not make any change with the name okay now i will tell you about little bit size so guys here what will be the size maximum size and uh, lower size of a particular fax page okay so guys here uh, the minimum okay a typical fax consumes 35 kb okay and those some can be larger up to 150 kb and a smaller can be up to 5 kb per page and uh, 
because fax image can consume a larger amount of disk space dedicated at least 500 mb of storage of your write fax server and more space may be required depending on the number of faxes sent and received and how frequently old fax are deleted so it is totally depend on the uh, like what kind of policy you are using and how much uh, communication is happening how many faxes you are sending how many coming so you know whatever space you have uh at least it will consume 500 uh, mb of your storage okay so uh, obviously if companies are implementing it uh, implementing it then they will have lots of space so space not a big problem but to uh, have good idea about it and knowledge i'm just sharing with you guys so uh, typical is 35 kb minimum 5 kb and maximum up to 1 150 kb per page and uh, i spoke about size now we'll see about we'll learn about disk space disk space so guys write fax monitors the amount of free disk space on the server okay so for example you have 100 gb so it will keep monitoring how much is consumed how much is free and shut down certain processing elements when available disk space is below 50 mb <laughs> so this is something monitoring is uh, Will be ha- uh, monitoring will be happening all the time with write fax server or on with write fax server so that it will keep monitoring. If you have less space, less than fifty MB on your <coughs> server disk space, so it will uh, stop certain processing elements. Okay, and when sufficient disk space is re- restored, fax processing continue automatically. So this is also possible uh, with this server automatically. you can say automatic adjustment of disk space by right fax server is possible okay on the basis of certain rules or policies we can create so i hope guys i have make it very easy i have made it very clear easy uh, like size and disk space how it will manage those uh, those sort of you know situation if we have less space on the server and now we'll see about uh, you know fax database so guys here write fax uses sql database to manage write fax system object such as users groups and printers and to organize track and route faxes so this uh, you know sql is uh, like you can say backbone of this infrastructure it is a backbone of this write fax configuration because whatever user we are creating it will sync with sql server as well as write fax server whatever information we are retrieving we are retrieving we are accessing from uh, you know sql database so it is a backbone okay and write fax provides some database management and diagnostic utility as well and apart from this if we talk about the third party and custom sql utilities can also be applied to the write fax database uh, for more information on the write fax database and applicable sql database management tools we can find out on google or we can go through the documentation of uh, sql database for write fax so this is the basic thing we uh, should know like if we are talking about fax database so what technology will be applied here or who will be taking care of uh, fax database so it is nothing but it is sql database okay very simple so guys this video is over here i hope i made it uh, very simple and very easy to understand if you feel it is easy uh, to understand and learn then please do subscribe channel subscribe comment share and like and uh, hit this bell icon your uh, on your youtube so that you will be getting notification so guys i will meet you in next video uh, till then bye bye and i will continue with the same topic because as i told you uh, we have there are four uh, component here so we have spoke about we have spoke about two here this and this so rest of two i am going to discuss in my next video so be with me and stay with channel till then bye bye